Hey, good morning, everybody. I'm here with Brandon. Brandon is uh, one of the masters of the Giants Clubhouse. And today we're going to show you what is in a rosin bag. And I always thought it was just full of like baby powder type stuff, but it's not, is it, Brandon? What's, what's in those no, bags? It's, not. it's really a rocky type of material. Um, normally it's more powdery than it is now, but generally with this product that we're using, it's, it's, it's more crystal form. So it's actually like a tree tree resin. Yes, yes, exactly. And um, really, really, pow it's a powdery substance normally. And when you when you watch the hitters and stuff like that, they use this to get their hands a little sticky, or maybe it it, it enhances their grip on a bat or mm -hmm. something like that. A lot of times you'll see like um, also in, I want to say um, some of the even. NBA players use it sometimes. So and so, like so how do you make a, a, a resin bag or rosin bag here? Well, normally what you do, I mean, you can use... We've got some sanitary socks here. Yep. I mean, you just cut them up and or fold them in half and um, tie them at each end normally. And then um, with this, you try to break these rocks down into a more powdery form. Uh-huh. And then you start pouring the rocks in here. And if it's still a little rocky, you have to find ways to... Uh, you know, just smooth it out. Somewhere. Temper tantrum. Yeah, just just temper throw tantrum. them. Just throw them up against the wall. Step on them if you like. Get a hammer or whatever. So why do you have to make new ones? The old ones just wear out. Well, the old ones they're typically too tough to bear down because of the rocky type feel to it. And by the time, see, rosin typically gets better over time. But with these things over time, it just some. It becomes too stiff to use by uh -huh. the time the, those rocks become powdery substance because of the fact that they not only use this, but they use pine tar. And when they slam it up against the bats, this thing hardens up. Uh huh. And the cloth will wear out. Yes. Exactly. Okay, so let, let's fill one up here. Pretty easy process, oh, huh? Yeah. What, you, what you do is just simply pour that in here in this sock. And. Um, just let out all the nope. material. We lost, we lost a piece right oh, there. Oh, we did. <laughs> you wouldn't want to. You wouldn't want to touch this stuff without the gloves, though, huh? Um, probably oh, not. Man. I mean, over time, it can it can probably be, be something that. <laughs> I don't know if you heard right, but uh, he said rub it in your eyes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's something that it, it's very hard to wash off. So, yeah. yeah, I mean, you walk around with sticky hands all day. Sometimes it can be something that, uh, you know, that can cause itching or something like that. So, Brandon, do you get compliments on your rosin bagging abilities? Um, probably not. I, I think it, you see with this, this particular one, and <laughs> it's taken me about an hour to put together. So. <laughs> That's only because I'm hassling you. Oh, yeah. Okay, well, thanks. You're a good sport.